2013 council meeting to order. If you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk, please call the roll. Shields. Here. Simpson. Here. Coyne. Here. Hilberg. Here. Colasar. Here. Lamb. Here. Rose. Here. Reading of the minutes. Mr. President. Mr. Shields. I move that the minutes of the regular meeting on March 25th, 2013, as prepared and submitted by the clerk, be approved. Second. Any discussion? Clerk, please call the roll and approval of the minutes. Coyne. Yes. Hilberg. Yes. Colasar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Reports of standing committees. For the Finance Committee, we had a meeting prior to Council, and we have our next meeting two weeks from today. Health, Safety, and Sanitation Committee. Mr. Rose. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, no meetings uh, to report on, and no meetings scheduled. Thank you. Thank you. Public Properties Committee. Mr. Shields. Thank you, Mr. President. No meeting scheduled, and no report this evening. Special Legislation Committee, Mr. Lamb. Thank you, Mr. President. No meeting held and nothing to report. Streets and Sidewalks Committee, Mr. Simpson. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I mentioned last meeting that we were probably going to have a, a streets meeting in April to discuss the sidewalk issue. We're going to move that out now probably to, towards the end of May. Thank you. Thank you. Water and Utilities Committee, Mr. Colzar. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we have a Water and Utilities meeting scheduled Tuesday, April 30th. Uh, at 5.30 here at City Hall, downstairs in a multi-purpose uh, room. Um, and we're going to discuss uh, recommendations from the Utility Rate Review, Review Committee and a couple other items on the, uh, on the um, agenda to discuss. Thank you. Thank you. Request for council action. <clears throat> we have several items for the Finance Committee. We have 1371 Crime and Airport Liability Renewal for 2013 and 14. 1372 General Liability Insurance Renewal for 2013 and 14. 1373 Amending Ordinance 3713 U.S. EPA Brownfield Grant. 1374 MCRC Staffing Pay Scale Edition. 1375 Final Resolution for ODOT SR State Route 18 and 57 Resurfacing. 1376 Jet Agreement with Lafayette Township. 1377 Transfer Request. 1378 Budget Amendments. 1379, a memo of understanding with State Road Railroad Dual Crossing. 1381, IT contract with Medina City Schools. And 1382, sodium chloride rock salt purchase agreement. And for the Water and Utilities Committee, we have one item which, uh, which is going to be discussed on that April 30th meeting. It's a 1380 utility rate review recommendation. Reports of municipal officers. Mayor Hanwell. Thank you, Mr. President. A um, number of things this evening. The Everbridge alert system is a countywide uh, alert system that residents can sign up for. They can also select just the uh, particular alerts that they're interested in, whether it be uh, weather or amber alerts or all alerts. Um, mm. And if you go to the uh, City of Medina website, www.medinaoh, there's a, a link there to go right to the Everbridge alert system and sign up. The um, day of serving is scheduled. Uh, that, that's uh, local churches and pastors are hosting another day of serving to kind of help those that can't do some of the uh, yard work or f uh, clean up or fix ups on their own. Um, the applications can be sent to uh, Dawn Conwell in, at the mayor's office. Uh, her email is dconwell at medinoh.org or you can call her by phone, 330-722-9020. They were trying to set a cutoff for it, but we've had a number of seniors still ask, and, and, and we are able to uh, accommodate them thus far. Um, just a reminder that supplies, all supplies for the projects need to be provided by the resident requesting the service, and the labor will be provided by the churches. Um, automatic uh, Clearinghouse, uh, or ACH, uh, customers can sign up for their utility bills to have the payment directly pulled from their bank account to avoid late fees and also avoid mailing charges. Uh, application forms are available at the finance window here at City Hall. 
Another option is online bill paying where customers can use a credit card um, and you can sign up for that. Again, there's a link on the front page of our website, um, which I previously mentioned. The National Day of Prayer events are Thursday, May 2nd. Um, there's three events. One is a breakfast at Williams on the Lake. It's the only event that uh, there's a charge for. It's $15. Uh, tickets are available at uh, the mayor's office uh, and many of the local churches. Uh, the event is from 7 a.m. to 8.30, and the guest speaker is Reverend Cornell Carter from Second Baptist. There will be a noon prayer service at Public Square. And uh, in case of inclement weather, the United Church of Christ has agreed to uh, permit people to come over there to, to get out of the weather. And then the evening service will be at the new United, Medina United Methodist Church on Foot Road. It starts at 7 p.m. and ends at 8.30. So same times as the morning, just in the evening. And then last but not least, um, I'd like to uh, make a statement on the um, issues with the uh, Medina City Schools. Um, recently, public comments have been made in emails and on blogs regarding the Medina City leaders, specifically myself and the council, needing to get involved in the issues concerning Medina School's expenditures. The mayor and the city council have no authority or oversight of the school operations. This is entirely under the purview of the elected Medina City School District Board. I and Law Director Greg Huber have both spoken with Medina County Prosecutor Dean Holman regarding this matter. Mr. Holman's office is in the process of assessing the situation. We feel that Mr. Holman's office would have jurisdiction over this matter due to the city school district being in multiple jurisdictions and the amount of money involved and the fact that the fund in question is a county fund known as the Medina County Schools Educational Service Center Fund. It's also important to understand that the city and Mr. Holman can only review legal matters as opposed to ethical and moral issues. The City of Medina staff will meet and assist Mr. Holman in any way we can to bring this matter to an appropriate resolution. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Durham, Director of Finance. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, today is we're the last meeting before income tax filings are due. All, all residents are required to file a city income tax return. We have one more opportunity. Uh, if you would like assistance with those forms, it will be on Saturday, April 13th at the rec center between 9 in the morning and 4 in the evening. That's at, at our rec center again on Weymouth Road on Saturday the 13th from 9 to 4. That's the last chance to get free assistance. And we also have um, here at City Hall, we have the forms uh, available here. If You can also print them off the uh, internet from CCA site or if you want to get a paper copy here, we have them here. And I anyway, hope to help you with that. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Huber, Law Director. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no report. Thank you. Chief Berducci, Police Chief. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I have no report. Thank you. Chief Painter, Fire Chief. Thank you, Mr. President. I have one item. Uh, spring cleanup time is here, um, and we knew it would happen in our, because we're getting a sharp increase of uh, complaints from residents, smoke and odor complaints from open burns. I'd like to remind all the residents to be good neighbors that open burning is not permitted within the city uh, boundaries. It's including yard waste, branches, and any other type of trash. If they have any questions, please call the station and give them more details. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Wright, Recreation Center Director. Thank you, Mr. President. Just a couple quick things. Um, one, I wanted to recap a program that we've had at the rec center now for over two years called Healthways. Uh, this is a program that has allowed over 1,300 eligible seniors a free membership to our facility and provides three different types of classes, which are also free for the seniors. Uh, the number for these programs grows daily, so if you'd like to see uh, videos for this program, they are available on YouTube by going to www.youtube.com forward slash city of Medina, all one word. And then uh, to verify for uh, eligibility for the program, you can call the rec center at 330-721-6901, where our friendly front desk staff would be glad to assist you, and uh, it'll take less than a minute to find out if you're eligible. Um, look for the MCRC's new spring-summer brochure in your Saturday, April 13th post. Uh, if you don't receive the post, uh, the brochure will also be available online and at the rec center by Monday, April 15th. Our next scheduled Advisory board meeting is Thursday, May 16th at 7.30 for the rec at the rec center. Uh, this month's meeting has been canceled. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Vogel, building official. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, with warm weather approaching, I'd like to say a few things about the types of residential building permits we see with the change of seasons. 
Permit requests for fences, pools, and decks are starting to increase. A change in the code now exempts decks under 200 square feet and fewer than 30 inches above grade from permit requirements. While these decks will not now require a building permit, the city zoning regulations would still apply. Please contact us for details. The new 2013 residential code has presented many other changes and we can help you understand and comply with the new rules. Additionally, the electrical code, particularly regarding pools, is always a challenge to comply with. So if you are planning to install a pool, come and see us for a permit and we will assist you with compliance and safety there as well. I want to encourage homeowners who are contracting work to use registered contractors as required and if doing the work yourself to come to the Medina City Building Department for information regarding code compliance permits and inspections. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Hannon, the Planning and Community Development Director. Thank you, Mr. President. Just wanted to make note of our boards and commissions meetings for this week. Our regular scheduled meetings will be on this Thursday, April the 11th. We have had some changes, however. Planning Commission will meet at 7 p.m. at their regular time. We do not have a Board of Zoning Appeals meeting scheduled for 6 p.m. as there is no agenda items. And our Historic Preservation Board meeting unfortunately has been moved. The Historic Preservation Board will meet on Monday, April 15th at 5 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Swanson, Parks and Recreation Director. Thank you, Mr. President. I have a few announcements with respect to Arbor Day. Um, the Parks, in conjunction with Kiwanis, is going to hold an Arbor Day tree potting um, day at 5.30 p.m. on Thursday, April 11th at the Reagan Park Service Garage. Usually it takes about an hour to plant or uh, pot about 700 um, saplings for the third graders. So if you're interested, you can come out for that. Um, Arbor Day program will be at Williams on the Lake Thursday, April 18th. The mayor, council members, and shade tree members are invited to attend. Anyone else interested may attend, but there will be a $10 charge to eat. Um, and then lastly, we're going to have a ceremonial Arbor Day tree planting. It will take place on the southeast corner of the square in celebration of National Arbor Day on April 26th at noon. Everyone from the community is invited to attend and help plant a tree. <clears throat> and any of the third graders, we could, we'd like to invite them who win the Arbor Day competition from their schools to attend the planting on the square. Um, related to parks, we've seen many residents enjoying our parks this past week and uh, this weekend in particular with the warm weather. Uh, we've also have interviewed and assembled our seasonal crew to meet the park use demand this year. Um, and lastly, our youth sports fields are prepared and currently in use for practice. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Piccoli, Service Director. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to mention the um, service departments for their 2012 accomplishments. Uh, I want to recognize the Sanitation Department, Street Department, Water Department, and Public Buildings, as well as Vehicle Maintenance and the related uh, clerical support for those departments as well. The year-end reports were due to the mayor in their office, and uh, I understand they'll be available for the uh, public's viewing on the website very shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Patton, City Engineer. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, earlier this afternoon, our Board of Control awarded the project for West Smith Road reconstruction uh, to Fabrizi Trucking and Paving for a little over $1.9 million. This will be our, our big summertime project. Uh, it'll take a couple weeks to get the contract signed and finalized, but we expect construction to start sometime toward the end of the month. Uh, we will be notifying all of the uh, adjacent property owners and, and other stakeholders of uh, the, the time and date of the scheduled public open house to discuss the project. Secondly, I want to announce uh, we're preparing to start the uh, parking lot improvement project. Uh, the bulk of the work will happen in the parking lot here just off the square uh, on the north side of West Liberty. It's the lot between uh, Sully's and the theater. Starting next Monday, April 15th and lasting for approximately a week, we will have to close the interior uh, parking lot spaces. There's uh, 20 spaces altogether. These are the spaces that abut the center concrete island. That's where most of the work's going to happen. Unfortunately, the spaces aren't going to be available for that week. Uh, we will be posting signs here this week notifying those users of that coming project. Thank you. Thank you. We have a confirmation of mayor's appointment. We have the Archive Commission, LaRue Brown, expiring 12-31-15. Move to approve. Second. Any discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. 
Motion passes 7 0. Notices, communications, and petitions. We have one a liquor permit not to object to the issuance of a new D5 permit to LMD65 LLC doing business as Captain Tony's at 930 West Liberty Street. Move not to object. Second. Discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Colasar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coyne. Yes. Hilberg. Yes. Motion passes 7-0. Unfinished business. There's none. Introduction of visitors. Members of the public will be permitted the opportunity to speak on any issue or concern which pertains to the city during the portion of the council agenda devoted to introduction of visitors. All comments shall be directed to the chair in a reasonable time limit of approximately five minutes will be imposed. If there is a group, please appoint a spokesperson. Speakers should approach the front right microphone and state their name and address so it can be entered into the minutes. Members of the public will be afforded the opportunity to comment on other portions of the meeting as determined by the chair or by a vote of majority of council members present. Is there anybody that wishes to address council? Erica? Thank you, Mr. President. Erica Griffin, representing the auditor's office. I have a few reminders tonight. The um, state mandated reappraisal is coming to an end and we'll be mailing out the new values uh, mid to late summer. And we will start the informal hearings uh, late summer into fall. And those are the values that we will pay on for calendar year 14. Family affairs coming up, that will be April 27th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Medina County Fairgrounds. A great place to take kids. It's also time for the um, Memorial Day Essay Contest, which is a partnership between the Auditor's Office and the Wad Wadsworth um, Veterans of Foreign Affairs, Foreign Wars, I'm sorry. The essays must be submitted by May 10th, and entries can be mailed to the office or emailed to auditor at medinacountyauditor.org. And lastly, the Regional Pet Adoptathon will be held Saturday, May 4th. That's at the National Guard Armory at 920 Lafayette Road, and that is from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. as well. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else wish to address council? Introduction and consideration of ordinances and resolutions. Resolution 59-13, a resolution adopting the Housing Revolving Loan Fund Administration Agreement between the State of Ohio, Department of Development, and the City of Medina, Ohio, relative to the Community Housing Improvement Program, CHIP, Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. President. Mr. Shields. The emergency clause has been requested. I move to add it at this time. My second includes the emergency clause. Discussion on the emergency clause and the resolution. Mr. Hannon. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. This agreement is relative to our CHIP program and details how potential program income from our housing and microenterprise programs can be utilized. The existing three-year agreement has expired, thus the emergency clause has been requested. And I apologize, I did not represent this at Finance Committee, and I haven't had a chance to confirm if Mr. Huber uh, has reviewed and received this yet, so I would request that it be subject to Law Director's approval. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Huber. Have you had an opportunity to review this yet, or do you need time to review? I'm going to need a little time. Okay, so the uh, resolution was um, subject to the Law Director's approval, and I assume that the second was also? Correct. Yes. Any further discussion or comment on the emergency clause? Would the clerk please call the roll on the emergency clause? Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. And with respect to the resolution, again, it says subject to, to the law director's review and approval. Any further discussion? Will the clerk please call the roll on the resolution? Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Resolution 59-13 passes 7-0 subject to law director's approval. Thank you. Ordinance 60-13, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to advertise for competitive bids and award a contract to a successful bidder for the 2013 Concrete Street Repair Program. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Patton. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this is our annual program of Concrete Street Repair. This is the program where we replace uh, individual blocks of pavement uh, throughout the city. This year we're asking for 500000 which I believe is the most we've ever asked for previously. Thank you. And, and from previous years, especially last year, I think the, the street repair um, was a phenomenal success uh, to certain parts of the city. It was done quickly, and the, the job is still holding up after the winter, which is, which is always a good news. Does anybody else have any further discussion? 
For the clerk, please call the roll in the ordinance. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coyne. Yes. Helberg. Yes. Colasar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Ordinance 60 13 passes 7 0. Ordinance 61 13, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to advertise for competitive bids and to award a contract to the successful bidder for the 2013 Concrete Pavement Joint Ceiling Program. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Patton. Thank you. Uh, this also is an annual program. Uh, this concrete pavement joint ceiling is an effort to maintain our pavements. Uh, it pre preserves them and should extend the life of uh, those pavements. Thank you. Any further questions, comments? Please call the roll. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Ordinance 61-13 passes 7-0. Ordinance 62-13, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Arcadis for engineering design services for the South Court Elevated Tank Interior Coating. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Patton. Thank you. Uh, as the name suggests, this is uh, asking council's authorization to have Arcadis do the design services for our South Court tank. The interior coating needs to be replaced. Uh, the project itself is not that complicated. The complicated part is actually taking the tank out of service for a number of weeks. Uh, Arcadis will be putting that program together for us. Thank you. My understanding is by taking the tank out of service does not mean that people will still not have water because it'll just be operated through the pumps. That's correct. Any further discussion or comments? Will the clerk please call the roll in ordinance. Coin. Yes. Hilberg. Yes. Colasar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Ordinance 62-13 passes 7-0. Ordinance 63-13, ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Cunningham and Associates, Inc. to provide engineering design services for the Wildwood Beachwood Drainage Improvement Project. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Patton. Thank you. Uh, this project is... Uh, being completed to resolve a long-standing drainage issue in uh, this Forest Meadows neighborhood. Uh, over the course of the last 20, 25 years, we've had numerous floodings of various houses over there. Uh, this project will improve the drainage, both surface drainage, rear drainage, as well as uh, drainage for the street to uh, uh, resolve that flooding issue. Thank you. Any further discussion? Please call the roll to ordinance. Hilberg. Yes. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Ordinance 63-13 passes 7-0. Ordinance 64-13, ordinance amending ordinance number 46-13 passed March 5th, or March 25th, 2013, amending section 3105 of the Salaries and Benefits Code relative to the Police Department. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. President? Mr. Shields? The emergency call has been requested. I move to add it at this time. My second includes the emergency clause. Any discussion on the emergency clause or the ordinance? Mayor? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, originally, well, what this ordinance does is uh, reduces the lieutenants in our police department from two to one. Um, Lieutenant Starcher originally submitted his um, request for resignation effective May 1st, 2013. But then upon further uh, analysis and checking with the pension board, it was advantageous to him to not enter into the month of May and uh, retire at the end of April, April 30th, 2013. So um, we're asking to amend the original ordinance to change the effective date to April 30th, 2013. And the emergency clause is necessary because we don't have 30 days between now and then to have it make effect. Thank you. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Will the clerk please call the roll in the emergency clause? Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Any further discussion on the ordinance? Will the clerk please call the roll in the ordinance? Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. <clears throat> ordinance 64 13 passes 7 0. Ordinance 65-13, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Arthur J. Gallagher and Company for the City of Medina's crime policy and the Medina Municipal Airport liability insurance for the period of April 1st, 2013 through April 1st, 2014. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. President. Mr. Shields. The emergency clause has been requested. I move to add it at this time. My second includes the emergency clause. Further discussion. Mr. Huber. 
The City of Medina received the best quote for airport liability insurance and the Medina criminal policy from Arthur J. Gallagher and Company. The ordinance needs to take effect April 1st, 2013, which is why the emergency clause has been requested. And in the next ordinance, the city received the best bid for general liability coverage from Wells Fargo. And once again, the coverage needs to be effective April 1st. Seems like we're getting some tower interference there, but and Morris Code or something we were talking about. But we appreciate that. We appreciate your efforts in that. Is there any further discussion on the emergency clause? Will the clerk please call the roll on the emergency clause? Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coyne. Yes. Hilberg. Yes. Polisar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Any further discussion on the ordinance? Clerk, please call the roll on the ordinance. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coyne. Yes. Hilberg. Yes. Polisar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Ordinance 65 13 passes 7 0. Ordinance 66 13. Ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Wells Fargo Insurance Services of Ohio, LLC. For the city's property casualty and general liability insurance for the period of April 1st, 2013 through April 1st, 2014. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. President. Mr. Shields. The emergency clause has been requested. I move to add it at this time. My second includes the emergency clause. Any discussion on the ordinance or the emergency clause? This again is just the annual update for the entire city, uh, of course, property casualty and general liability coverage. And I believe the premium was 113,000 or thereabouts to cover this for the year's period uh, for the city. And it covers in around $38 million of coverage for all the buildings and structures within the city. Is there any further discussion? Again, the emergency clause is because of the April 1st date. Any dis further discussion on the emergency clause? Will the clerk please call a roll on the emergency clause? Coin. Yes. Hilberg. Yes. Colasar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Motion passes 7-0. Any further discussion on the ordinance? Clerk, please call the roll of the ordinance. Simpson. Yes. Coyne. Yes. Hilberg. Yes. Colasar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Ordinance 66-13 passes 7-0. Ordinance 67-13, an ordinance amending ordinance number 3713, <coughs> passed March 11, 2013, relative to the US EPA Brownfield Coalition grant. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Hannon, any update on that? Well, I believe this is an um, item that uh, changed the account number that was submitted on the original ordinance. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Any further discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Hilberg. Yes. Colasar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coin. Yes. Ordinance 67-13 passes 7-0. Ordinance 68-13, an ordinance authorizing the finance director to make certain fund transfers. Move to approve. Second. Mr. Durham. Yes, Mr. President, this is to put into effect the ordinance that was passed at the last meeting uh, to change the fund that we're charging part of the garage from the capital fund to the city general fund out of public buildings. Because it's a prior year expenditure, we can't just make that as an adjustment. It's a transfer, and the transfer needs a <coughs> council approval. Thank you. Any further comments or discussion? Clerk, please call the ordinance. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Ordinance 68-13 passes 7-0. Ordinance 69-13, an ordinance amending ordinance number 213-12, passed December 10th, 2012, amendments to the 2013 budget. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. Durham? Yes, Mr. President. There's uh, four additions. The first is the to cover the transfer that we just discussed. The second is actually a transfer uh, line to line on the Brownfield grant. The third one is a, a builder didn't build a, a trail as part of their uh, responsibility of a development, and so they turned the money over to us to build that trail when we when we go ahead and build it. And uh, this will appropriate that money so we can put it in a purchase order, have it available for that purpose when that trail is constructed down the road. And then the final one is to reappropriate funds for the Firehouse Museum. Thank you. Any further discussion or comments? Could please call the roll in the ordinance. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coin? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Ordinance 69-13 passes 7-0. Council comments? Mr. Mr. President? No. Go ahead, Mark. 
Mr. Colesar? I have a couple. Uh, first, I just want to say uh, thank you to the residents of Ward 3 for coming out for the uh, last ward meeting we had on the 1st. I think it was very productive. We had good dialogue, and uh, you know I do appreciate everybody coming out and voicing their concerns and comments. Uh, the next Ward 3 meeting will not be until November 19th. So uh, put it on your calendar, but if you need anything uh, from myself as your Ward 3 representative, uh, don't hesitate to call or send me an email. And um, next item, uh, this year's City of Medina Zerte cleanup again will be on April 27th, uh, which is a Saturday from 9 to 11. Uh, this year's park is Sycamore Park, which is located on the south side of town between Valley Drive and Montview Drive. Um, we'll meet up at the Montview Drive entrance because of the parking situation. Um, you'd have to park on, on Valley, I believe, or I'm sorry, park on Montview because a section of Valley is actually uh, no parking on both sides. So that is again April 27th from 9 to 11 and um, park on Montview Drive and we'll meet up at that entrance and then disperse from there. Uh, the City of Medina will be uh, providing trash bags and gloves uh, for the cleanup. So I, I hope whoever can find time on that day, I know everybody has a busy schedule, but if you could come out and uh, make a difference in this park, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will make another announcement at our next meeting, council meeting here on April 22nd, was, which is actually the day of, uh, that we recognize Earth Day. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rose. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd just like to bring uh, one of my bright spots of Medina to everybody's attention. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately as the case may be, the, uh, the, per the person who helped us here uh, asked to remain anonymous, but uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, during one of my visits to a local business establishment, the proprietor brought to my attention his concern for one of our residents. Um, after having a conversation, I en enlisted the assistance of Chief Baraducci, and he kicked Operation House Call into action. Uh, we sent one of our specials over to this um, lady's house, and we found her house to be in disarray. Uh, she hadn't been checked on in a while. Uh, the folks, as part of Operation House Call, got the wheels in motion, and she's now getting the help and care that she needs. So this is uh, another bright spot in Medina where another person watching out for somebody else. And my congratulations to that proprietor. And secondly, I'd like to wish Bill Lamb a happy birthday. He's, I was, I was he's gonna, 39. Yeah, I was going to do the same, but he said he was 28, so I'm not really <laughs> sure which one it is. Actually, uh, thank you very much for the happy birthday and all the cards and, and the packages. And, Don't forget um, the handshake. And I, I'm happy now to be the oldest person sitting up here. <laughs> Appreciate that. And the only comment I have, Mr. President, is I'd like to thank Tom Doyle for his um, great tour that he gave us at the Little Wiz Fire, uh, Fire Museum. On, on the weekend and if you haven't been to that museum and I've been here for many years and I'd never been there and it was fascinating he he, he told us um, history about fire department fire trucks fire equipment that I had no idea any of that never existed but it was a great tour it's a great place to go you see a lot of unusual things and I really appreciate the uh, time that he took to show us and other members of council around his museum it was a fun informative tour thank you yes thank you any further council comments? I just have one. We're fortunate enough to start the budget season again, which is this Wednesday. And I know how everybody's eager to attend those meetings. This Wednesday, we'll have the Water and Sanitation Department kicking it off with Nino Piccoli. It should be quite exciting. Of course, those are enterprise funds. And again, it's at 5.30 this Wednesday downstairs. Any other council comments? Hearing none, meeting is adjourned.